everyone, it's the Lego Detective back with another Bakugan review. It's been two days since, I think two days, yeah, since I reviewed Night Percival. And now it is time to look at Cross Dragonoid, the next one of the Japanese new Destroyer Bakugan, which I'm going to be taking a look at. So, uh, Cross Dragonoid is the second evolution of Dragonoid in the new Vistroya anime. And, uh, yeah. Cross Dragonoid was the last evolution of Dragonoid, where Dragonoid kind of just looked more like a dragon. And starting with Helix Dragonoid, Dragonoid uh, started looking more like, kind of like a human-esque, like a human-esque character. But like with, it looks like a dragon, but like with the human body, kind of. So, yeah. But anyway, Cross Dragonoid looks really nice on the outside. It's very shiny. Um, I The dark red looks really nice. Um, in comparison, in comparison to other Dragonoids, and I really love the bronze. It looks really good on this Bakugan. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, like Knight Percival, he is a spin Bakugan. This would be like kind of where he spins right there. Uh, it is MG, so that stands for Magnet. So you know that it's a Japanese Bakugan. And uh, like Helios Mark II and Knight Percival, this was a Japanese exclusive. So. If you're planning on collecting all the Dragonoids, this is going to be one of the harder and more expensive ones to get. Ones to get, and also some of the ones from uh, Mectanium Surge, just because they're really uncommon. Um, but yeah, anyone that's a fan of the anime uh, of Bakugan needs to get this. So yeah, let's pop Drago open, and he does spin just like so. Um, so this one, where did where were the G powers? Oh, yeah, 540 Gs. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And this part spins. And manual parts, you have the horns, which you fold up. The feet, which come out. And they're double-jointed, like Helios. And then this little t uh, tail. Kind of like Knight Percival. It's kind of useless and doesn't really do anything. Um, and there he is. One of the weird things about this Bakugan is that his head is just so big. It doesn't really come forwards. Like, if this is like a front angle, like a front view. And you can't really see his face. From the side view, it looks like he's looking up. And most of the time, the head is so big, it just causes gravity to, like, flip it backwards. So, he's kind of, like, a bit of an awkward Bakugan, at least in terms of the head. However, I think that the wings and the little uh, molded claws look actually really good. I love how you have, like, the four different parts of the wings. Um, and this is a very anime-accurate Bakugan. A lot of the other Bakugan from New Destroya, from these, uh, the six Japanese New Destroya Bakugan, uh, Helios Mark II... Knight Percival, Cross Dragonoid, Mix Elfin, Blast Elico, and Master Ingram. A lot of them had some aspects that weren't really accurate, but Cross Dragonoid is very accurate to the anime. Really, the only thing that he's really missing is little bronze details on the inside of the wings, sort of like on the outside, just on the inside. He did have those in the anime, but that's really the only detail that I think was in the anime that isn't on this Bakugan. And it totally makes sense not to have detail inside the wings. Because it really doesn't make a difference. With Minx Elfin, uh, her hair, it kind of looks bad because it's not painted yellow like in the anime. So it's all just blue. But this still looks really nice. Um, I actually do have a second cross Dragonoid. But unfortunately, um, it doesn't open. I'll show you why. First, let's just roll it. There we go. Oh, Wow. Huh, that actually opened. That's really weird. It, this guy never opens. Um, believe me. I'll try that again, actually, in a sec. If you can see, those are the little teeth. Uh, those little things are the teeth that are used to wind up the Bakugan. There we go. So as you can see, there's a little gear. And then when you just push it in, and then when it's released, it's like that. So... It would wind up, clip in, and then when the magnet opens, this flies out, and that, that's what causes the Bakugan to spin. So, the last two teeth are in really bad shape, and most of the time, they just don't... They get stuck, and they never spin. Wow, that was that was actually very weird. That, like, never happened to me before. Let's, let's try that again. That'll be weird. Maybe, like, the teeth got better? Wow, okay. Never mind, guys. I, uh... That is so weird. I am not sure what happened. Uh, yay, I have two working ones now. Um, anyway, what I was going to say is that he doesn't open. Because, wow, he's actually working. Oh my gosh, this is like video magic. That's insane. So, 
I was going to say, I was saying, like, I have two cross dragon legs, but one of them, what happens is it would always be like this. It would open and it would just be like that. So, yeah, that's really weird. I did not... It, it's like it just fixed itself before I shot this video. That is so weird. Okay, so, yeah, I actually have two working cross dragonoids, which is really awesome. Um, so, yeah, that's really awesome. Um, anyway, I'm not sure what happened, which made it work better, but it just works better. Because what would happen is this this uh, wing over here, it would just get stuck in the thing, and it wouldn't spin. So, yeah, now it works. Wow, that is so awesome. I think that this was this video. I think it was just, like, fate that made it work when I filmed this video. That is amazing. Yeah, it's just working like a charm. That is so amazing. Okay. So that was just really epic. But anyway, to fold them up, what you do, you put in the wings. Well, obviously put in the manual parts. Put in this little flap. Put in the head. And then hold down everything. Put in this wing and then put in the wing with the gear on it. This one kind of has a weak locking mechanism, but yeah, so, and his head just popped right out. Come on, come on. Well, that was because I think I pushed it on the card. But anyway, guys, um, there is my review of Cross Dragonoid. Um, this is a pretty cool Bakugan. He's very expensive, so yeah, do be aware of that. However, like I said in my previous reviews, I got this in a giant lot of Bakugan that I ordered for an extremely cheap price from Yahoo Japan. I used a proxy service to ship it my, to my house. And if you go on Yahoo Japan, you use like a search translator or something, search just Bakugan, and you will find so many giant lots of Bakugan with Bakugan such as Cross Dragonoid and all of the other rare and destroy Bakugan and Bakutech. So, yeah, that's what I recommend doing, guys. But anyway, um, there's my review of Cross Dragonoid. I'm still deciding which one's going to be next. But anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.